Hey guys, here's a quick review of the Breitling Reference 80180 Military Diver. Um, this is a course watch, as you can tell, and it has the uh, Diver Pro Band. This is the first generation of the Hershey strap, as they call it, with the raised lettering because it resembles a Hershey bar. Um, and it has a pretty cool lined back to it. Uh, this watch is really interesting. Um, it's only about a 39 millimeter width with the crown, but you can actually take this part out right through here, and it makes it out there a 18 millimeter lug. Um, this is a PVD coated watch, and on the back of the case markings here it says um, outdoor med supplies fire ammunition food water map and there look to be some kind of uh, signals that you can make there um, when you turn around here if you're held one of these bright links before you're very aware of how good the 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 bezel is on these so when you turn them around here as you can tell it has a very good click it's almost instrumental there And that is the main reason why I got this watch. I'd got it in uh, a cold ocean before with the same kind of click on it. Um, the cold ocean had a bunch of grips on the side of the bezel. So that made it easier to turn. Where this one, I just have the positions at 12, um, 3, 6, and 9 o'clock to turn which is okay it doesn't make a difference to me and it still protects the crystal overall because you see how it sticks up there from the top that was a pretty smart design thing so that's that part still been carried on over to their latest cold models um, and you can see it in almost all their watches like the Avengers and the, uh, the aerospace that kind of thing uh, really easy to read display um, especially the hands and the markers so that's one of the biggest reasons I got it they definitely got influence from the Ben Roos Vietnam era divers um, I like the buckle on this guy it's huge as you can tell it would be better if it had raised uh, instead of etched a uh, logo and um, on this bad boy the the PVD on the bronze is, on the on the crown is still good I wound up touching it up a little bit um, I took some testers paint around the bezel and what I'm going to let it do this time around is, is uh, wear off to give it the original look that it had. Eventually all this stuff would come off if I'd wear it every day and uh, I'll probably put it up for sale at that time. I might put it up for sale before then though. Uh, I do have another buckle on here that I can use for a leather or um, another rubber strap that I have. That one is just uh, it just has a regular buckle, so it, it would look like this. All right, so that's a quick review of this diver. They're pretty hard to come by, but um, if you do get your hands on one, they're not all big and stuff like you don't really need some of the extra height. As you can see, how slim this is of the other ones that are out that are currently the, the ones that uh, Brightling puts out.